Street Speed here just came to the park today because it is a beautiful sunny day here at the end of April in Pennsylvania and uh, had a little bit of a crowd of people here checking it out. A couple families that were in the park wanted to come over and look at it and some kids talking to me about everything from uh, Need for Speed to uh, Fast and Furious so always fun to see the next generation of car enthusiasts out here. But anyway this is the review of my 2015 uh, Corvette Z51 with a 7 speed manual. So as you guys know I already had a 2015 uh, Z51 automatic. This car is a little bit different, mainly uh, just as far as the exterior goes. Uh, the wheels, I used to have black wheels with the machine face. These are just the polished aluminum. Uh, also, my mirrors are no longer black. And the roof, instead of being uh, transparent, is body color yellow. And uh, the rear spoiler is also not black. Uh, but other than that, everything's all uh, just the, exactly the same, pretty much. Um, I also have this one debadged, just like uh, my other one. So uh, that's about it for the exterior. I'm not going to spend a whole ton of time on that, but let's move in to the interior. All right, so sitting in the interior of this 2015 Corvette, well, it's pretty much exactly the same as my other one. It even has all the same interior options, except for uh, the seats are no longer the competition seats. So if you can see here, a good view. Um, they are just the regular touring seats and uh, also my steering wheel no longer has suede on it it's just regular uh, leather but other than that this interior is exactly the same uh, same options and everything uh, so it's a great place to be you know i already covered this a little bit in my other review so i won't go into it too much but the the material quality in this corvette is really really good i mean it is a drastic step above the c5 and c6 corvettes which i've had some experience with um, everything feels good, you know, even the plastics here are uh, a nice, like, I, I don't want to say soft, but it f has a good feel to it. This is all leather wrapped here along the side. Uh, the gear shift has a great feel to it. This brushed aluminum feels really good. Nice leather padded uh, armrest here. Um, so everything feels really good. Also leather wrapped on the dash. Uh, the only complaint I have is this plastic is just a little bit bland for my taste and a little bit uh, not as high quality as the other materials. But uh, you can get this in a carbon fiber uh, trim level, which makes it look really good and also gives it a nicer uh, feel if you're so inclined to do that. Um, as far as like storage space and everything goes, it's pretty limited. Um, it's okay in here. You got these little map pockets in the doors. Uh, you, there's room for two drinks. And then of course you have your little, um, just this little thing, mostly you put your iPhone in there or whatever when you're listening to music. Uh, but the one clever thing about these, which I'm sure everyone knows, it's the Corvette's little party trick here, but the screen comes down and you do have a good amount of room in there for storage. I oftentimes put my wallet in there and uh, it's a good little secret place to store things. But um, other than that, you know, it is a really just a nice place to be. The seats feel great. They're really supportive, high quality. Also the back, um, you can see there, there is plenty of room in here for definitely for two people to take a weekend trip somewhere. Uh, there's tons of room in here for luggage and everything. It's not really, I mean, it's an unpractical car. It's a two speed, it's a two seat small sports car, but, uh, it does have more room than a lot of sports cars. I mean, it, it does actually have room for a couple of suitcases and some other stuff back there. So it's not as crazy and practical as a, as a lot of cars in the same category. But, um, with all that being said, let's uh, start it up and go for a drive. What's up everybody, Mike from Street Speed here doing the second portion of the review of the 2015 Corvette 7 speed manual. And uh, you know, it feels really good this car, I gotta say. Um, this gearbox is perfect, no complaints with it whatsoever. I know some people have said that they occasionally grab 7th 
let me close this window here, a lot of traffic. Some people have said that they occasionally grab seventh instead of fifth gear because this is a seven speed, so the layout's a little bit different. And I will admit, I did that like two or three times, but after learning the gearbox, you know, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with it. This is fantastic. I mean, I'm in no way an expert driver. I've driven a lot of cars, um, but I'm not an expert driver, and I got right into this, no problem. You know, it's, you might think because it's a powerful car that uh, you would the clutch would be real hard and that the you know it'd be real lurchy and jumpy, but it's not at all. Just be real easy on the throttle, and you won't have any problems whatsoever. I mean, I'm in stop and go traffic right now, uh, pretty much as you can see here. It's like rush hour just on my way home and I wanted to finish the review because yesterday I did all the filming and everything and the lighting was great but unfortunately by the time I got to the driving portion the sun had gone down and the lighting was really bad so I wanted to get that finished up today but anyway you know I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time talking about the car because this is exactly the same in every other way um, except for the gearbox wow um, a lot of power in that Honda Civic no doubt as compared to my other Corvette but um, you know, just the gearbox is different. So I guess really the way I can sum it up, the gearbox is fantastic. Uh, either one you get, you won't be disappointed. You really won't. I'm not one of these people who has a bias against automatics. I don't think it makes you any more manly driving a manual, and I don't think it makes you any less of a car enthusiast driving an auto. I really don't. You know, uh, autos, a lot of them are the way of the future, and that's just the way it goes. That being said, this does feel really good. So the million dollar question, you know, which one do I prefer? And I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest here. I prefer the manual. You know, I, I know the automatic was faster. It's definitely more convenient in traffic and everything, but this feels so good. And especially this gearbox and the clutch is just starting to wear in a little bit. Um, it feels so good. And I'm, I'm actually, through it all, I'm actually happy this is how it turned out because this gearbox just feels so great. And it does feel good to be BAP, uh, yeah, BAP. It feels great to be back in a manual really does um, that being said you know you will not be disappointed if you buy an automatic but uh, this just feels right for me uh, at the moment you know I, I haven't had a manual car since my 2013 Mustang and this feels right this feels uh, this this is what I really want I think so um, through it all I ended up getting exactly what I wanted I guess so it really does fit me well uh, this gearbox is fantastic I know I'm sorry I keep saying the same words over and over again but I really I can't put in words how good it is I mean this feels so good it's the best manual gearbox I've ever driven um, with the exception of like BMW has some really really good ones I mean BMW uh, manuals are smooth as silk I will say that but um, this does feel really good it's definitely better than the Mustang GT I had which the throws were not as clean and crisp as this this is a lot better um, but it's pretty it's pretty damn good so with that, with that being said, I just wanted to kind of share that as the driving review. Again, the only complaint I have about these new Corvettes having driven both um, is the suspension is a little bit harsh on some bigger bumps. You know, I, it's not nearly as bad as a C6 or C5 or anything, but it's just, I wish it was a little more smooth, um, but that's okay. I'm really nitpicking here, and, and that's really about it as far as... Uh, you know any complaints I have about the car I'm kind of in a unique position unfortunately I kind of got put in this uh, unique position because a lot of people have driven the manual a lot of people driven the automatic seen a lot of reviews on both sides I've never seen a review of both the uh, you know of both cars back to back and not just both cars but I've had extensive um, experience with both I had the first one for 1100 miles this one's got 300 on it so you know it's I've had experience with both cars and I gotta say having driven both I do prefer this one but either way it's a great car you won't be disappointed uh, both versions are fantastic this is a great car to own um, it really is so uh, I won't drag on and on here so that's my review of the 2015 Corvette Z51 uh, seven-speed manual and it's great, you know, to get with either one you've won, it's gonna be fantastic. So um, I'm loving this car. I'm trying to get past this braking period, trying to drive it as much as I can because uh, I'm ready to take this thing out and get a lot more uh, driving in and enjoy this thing and finally have my dream car that I can just enjoy and drive worry-free. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Always appreciate it and please tune in next time.